Have you ever wanted to pull the water shutoff list? Did you know the water shutoff list is one of the least attacked lists when it comes to real estate wholesaling? This is because most real estate wholesalers don't know how to pull the list. In today's video, I'm going to show you actually how to pull these extremely highly valuable motivated seller lists for properties that the water got shut off in. So water shutoffs, they are so valuable. So a water shutoff list, if you don't know, is basically a list from the utilities department of the properties in your area that the homeowners did not pay their water bill. Eventually, when you don't pay your water bill enough, they just shut off your water, just like your electric bill, they'll shut it off. So before I get into it, before I really show you, share with you actually how to pull that list, please smash that like button and subscribe so we can help this YouTube algorithm out. So let's get into it. Let me actually show you how to pull the list. So we know water shut off is basically someone stops paying their water bill and the water gets shut off. Why would someone become extremely motivated because of this list? This is because if you have no water in your property, it's almost impossible to be living in there. You can't take a shower, can't wash your dishes, you can't do a dishwasher, can't take a bath, can't wash your car, you can't do anything without water in a house. I mean, it's like living in a house without electric. It's a complete mess. So there's really no point in living in a house without water. And honestly, when they shut your water off, Either A, you don't have enough money to really be taking care of that property. B, your tenant doesn't have enough money to be taking care of the property and they're not paying their water bill. Or C, that the person doesn't even want to pay the water bill to deal with it. Somebody just doesn't want to take care of the property. Either they live out of state, it's a probate situation, someone unfortunately passes away and they just don't pay the water bill because they're dead. Either one of these situations is what will happen when you're dealing with a water shut off property seller. So we know why they're so motivated and there's so many good deals from it. So we know that basically every single person we contact on this list is extremely and highly motivated. This comes down to actually pulling the list and most gurus out there, they're going to charge you a course to learn how to do water shut off lists and stuff. I'm just going to give it to you for free. Again, most wholesalers don't do this because they don't know how to. And this knowledge barrier is something I just don't like in this real estate wholesaling space. You got to pay to play to get all this information. I'm giving it all for free. So truly, there's only two ways to really pull on this list. You can do it the paid and I would say the easy way, or you can do it the little harder and more difficult, but free way. Let me show you the free way really quick on actually pulling the water shutoff list. That basically is just using the power of PropStream. PropStream, aka listrei.com is the website I use to pull all my water shutoff leads because I can't manually scrape all the liens myself. There's lots of liens, I gotta, I gotta filter it. I already use it to pull my high equity stuff and also use it for driving for dollars, pre foreclosures, subject to. So I just use listrei.com for basically everything. So if you want a seven day free trial, go to listrei.com. That's the paid way to do it. I recommend you just check a free trial, see you get the water shut offs absolutely for free. Hey, it's worth a shot, right? So let's go into PropStream really quick. Let me show you exactly how to pull it. All right, guys, so we're here in listrei.com. I chose St. Louis, Missouri just to do the quick water shutoff list because I thought it's a pretty big market that we can actually do this in. So let's do it pretty quick and easy. All I gotta do is go here to filter. And before we get into it, we need to understand with the water shutoff list, we wanna make sure if we're wholesaling it, it has enough equity. So I can wholesale the property for more than what is actually owed on it for. So for example, if the property I can sell to a cash buyer for $100,000 and the person owes $50,000 on it, I could probably lock it up for 60, make $40,000 and that's awesome. But what if the person owes $100,000 on it and I can only sell for $100,000 because it has a lot of issues. That is not good. That is not what we wanna do. There's just not enough equity to make a wholesale profit on there. So that is not good for us. So we wanna make sure we have enough equity on them, but really that's basically it. So. So we're going here right here. We'll just go to property characteristics. I like to just make sure the thing is a residential property. That was the only really water shutoffs I really care about. MLS status, make sure it is not on the market. We don't want to deal with realtors on this one. And then let that load up. And then, all right, we're at 322,000 properties, which is a lot. Just go to lien, bankruptcy, divorce status here. Go to specific lien, and then just click utility lien. Now, utility lien is a mix of people that got their electric shut off and their water shut off. So, so how do we tell the difference here? Well, the truth is it's extremely hard to. There's only one real way to do it and let me show you really quick. So what we're gonna do is just at 2000, that's actually a really good list to do. That is all the electric shutoffs and the water shutoffs. Usually I market them together because if someone's not paying their electric, it's hard to live in a house without electric or with water. But specifically for water shutoffs, I'm just gonna go here to the estimated value and I'm just gonna, 
mess with some stuff. So I want to make sure the equity percentage is at least 60%. And that should help me a lot on this. So that puts us about 1200. And that's honestly the most we really want to deal with. I don't know the price is too well for St. Louis. So that should be it. And basically we can pull this list. Now what we can do is we can actually individually attack this list. So maybe if I was going to do 50 cold calls or something, I'd go example to example, I'll go to this property here. 6814 Corbett Avenue in St. Louis, Missouri, built in 1916. Geez. So I'm just going to go here, lean details. And I found out that this is an unpaid sewer lien. Uh, so that's not water shut off. So we'll skip that one. We'll go here to 1339 Claudine Drive. Check out that lean unpaid sewer. So let's go do another random one. Again, unpaid sewer is again, watered bill too. So that so it's not specifically the water got shut off, but they're not paying their sewer bill. And basically what we're going to do is we're just going to go keep attacking these unpaid sewers. Now they're technically not water shutoffs, but water and sewer are basically mixed together in a lot of these cities. So most likely that's the issue here. We're getting unpaid sewer everywhere for sanitation. So these people aren't paying their water. So these are all really good properties here. Just trying to find one that's not a uh, water shutoff one because most of these are. So that's pretty cool. So most of these are, and then you'll find the electric ones mixed there in there too. So specifically, a lot of them say unpaid water or unpaid sewer. Sewer and water are basically kind of combined when it comes to this because the water and sewer department. That really should be it, guys. When it comes to actually pulling it, and then you just manually, then you just manually pull it. Again, I just looked at this one. So this is unpaid water charges too. That's technically the water shutoff one. Uh, the sewer, they're not really doing with the toilets and stuff like that. But technically, that's an unpaid water charge right there. So I can go manually go in and out of all these. But that's basically how you pull it. Now, how do we do it the freeway? That might be the one you're more interested in. And this one's a little harder. It's a lot more difficult to get this list. But if you can get this list correctly, you can do very well. Sometimes the water shutoffs are always different. Sometimes there's laws that you can't evict someone who has a water shutoff within these many months. But overall, the water shutoff list is a pretty easy one to get. Some cities are very difficult and some aren't. What I would do is go to your local county or city, depending. So for example, I know St. Louis has their own utility department versus the actual whole county. So I would go to the county or the city, which wherever one in the market you want to deal with, go to their utilities department and actually demand to get the water shutoff list for 2020 or all active water shutoffs or people who are behind on their water Water payments and they're going to give you a hard time. They're going to want to fight you on this, but you got to stay strong and say, this is my public information. I deserve to know. Do I need to file a FOIA Act, Freedom of Information Act to get it? Usually after that, they'll get a little freaked out. They give it to you, but keep demanding and keep pushing on. Call the same utility lady and keep hammering them until you get that list. You do it so many times, you'll get that list. Again, attack that list. It's one of the most valuable ones out there. So that is it, guys. That is a quick video here on actually how to pull the water shutoff list for your city or county. I'm telling you right now, it is one of the most underutilized lists out there and it's one of the most profitable ones. So go out there, pull your water shutoff list, and let's make some money. Thank you guys so much. Again, if you like this video, please smash that like button, subscribe. It means a lot for me. Helps more people learn free information like this when it comes to wholesaling real estate. And I truly appreciate it. Have a good one.